I went to Vietnam and they didn't give me the 277. They put me in a staff for about five months, then gave me what was then the 266th Supply and Service Battalion at Long Bend. During the seven months that I was in that battalion, uh, they closed down several other battalions 50, 60, 100 miles away, but they would leave a small unit of about 50 people there. And General w Walter Wu Wan was his name, was the, was the senior logistician in Vietnam. He would say, give that LSA to Leo. So I'd pick up 50, 60 people under my control. I'm responsible for it. I've got to feed them, got to do everything for them. Then he did it again. So by the time I left, my battalion had, had gone from about 800 people to 2,600 people. And we succeeded. Well, when I came back, I had what I consider personally as probably the most rewarding, one of the two most rewarding uh, jobs in my military service. I was an assistant professor of military science at Central State University in Ohio. And there I had the chance to put my stamp on a lot of America's young men, several of whom themselves became generals. Uh, and that is the, probably the greatest reward that any, any person could ever have, uh, being a teacher. You had asked earlier about how do you become a general. You simply take the cards you are dealt and you play the hand as best you can. There are many stories about the triple nickel, and there are stories about the Buffalo Soldiers, and even a few stories about the Tuskegee Airmen. But there's so many moments of our history that have been lost. The 761st Tank Battalion was within 20 miles of Berlin, about to be the first unit to reach Berlin. And it was stopped so that a white unit could pass it and be the first into Berlin. Those kinds of things hurt, but they are part of our history and we ought to know them. And we need to know them so that we don't make those mistakes in the future. Or make like they never happened. One of the conscious decisions I did make when I left the service, because I had two sons who were in, that I would do everything I could to diminish myself, that I might not take away any of the light that was upon them. Uh, but yes, I, uh, you, you never get out of it. First place, they won't let me. They will continue to bring me stories and, and events uh, and uh, will force me into telling them war stories of my past. This is Joe Montaigne. The U.S. Army is proud of all its soldiers and individual stories of integrity like this one, and they should never be forgotten. Join me to help build the National Museum of the United States Army, a tribute to all American soldiers and dedicated to telling the story of the U.S. Army from 1775 until now. To learn more, go to armyhistory.org. Thank you.